I uh, spoke with Karen Bradley yesterday and I challenged her on the fact that her comments have been crass, outrageous, insensitive. You could name many adjectives to describe what she has done this week. She has re-traumatised families, she has hurt families, she has uh, caused untold damage to people's uh, feelings this week. Um, I've told her directly that her position is untenable, but this goes much deeper than Karen Bradley. This is a, actually goes right to the heart of British government policy here in Ireland. They want to cover up what happened in the past. They want to cover up the role of state forces here in the past. This is actually the real uh, state, uh, British government state um, policy. So I think what Karen Bradley did is she gave the game away. She actually stated the real intention behind uh, this government. The families themselves are demanding action. Sinn Féin are demanding action. What we need to see is the legacy mechanisms implemented immediately. We need to see no more cover-up from this um, British government. And we need this British government to actually state very clearly what its intention is. Because clearly what Karen Bradley gave away this week is that their priority is to protect their own. You see, if, if, if they replace Karen Bradley tomorrow with another British government minister, that minister will also implement British government policy. Karen Bradley has stated government policy, so I don't, it doesn't matter if it's Karen Bradley, Theresa Villiers, James Brokenshire, the list can go on. All ministers will come and deliver on the British government state of policy, which Karen Bradley has given away.